Hi, I'm Keith McCoy with Solutions Pest and Lime. Today we're going to discuss pantry pests. In the kitchen here, we've seen some moth activity. After doing an investigation, we found out that we've got some Indian mill moths in the pantry. So we're going to take a look in there and see what we might be able to do to eliminate the problem. So I'm in the pantry and we have positively identified our pest to be Indian mill moths. Um, and basically what we've been seeing is some small little moths and they kind of fly sporadically. Um, the egg and larva stage of uh, the Indian mill moths usually is found in grain products uh, such as cereals, flour, cornmeal, uh, noodles and things like that. So anything that you find in your pantry that's in a bag or a box that's basically uh, where the problem's uh, coming from. So what we want to do is remove all the boxes and bags and we just want to throw them away. Don't waste your time going through the box or the bags and, and trying to look for eggs and larva stage and thinking you're going to save uh, the food stuff. But look, even if you found them in there, you wouldn't want to keep it anyway, so just throw it away. Uh, so once we remove all of that, we're going to continue on and remove everything out of the pantry. Uh, then we're going to take a damp cloth and just wipe the shelving uh, inside here and then we're going to dry it and then we'll be prepared and ready to apply our products. So we're ready to get started. We're going to use Novacide which is a, a, an aerosol product and we're going to use it as a spot treatment inside the pantry area and spray it in all the corners of the shelving where it meets the wall. Um, before we get started though, uh, always want to think about safety first. Uh, maybe wear a pair of gloves. Uh, also, uh, you might want to think about wearing some sort of a protective mask as well, uh, especially when you're working in very tight, uh, confined areas, so such as this pantry. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to take it, and again, we're just going to use it as a spot treatment. Um, and as we spray through here, we're not going to make a continuous barrier. We're just going to kind of put, uh, sp oh, maybe two or three inches of spray pattern. Uh, say you ever foot, two feet, um, and that should be enough. Basically what that's going to do, um, any larva stages that are crawling around on the shelf area, uh, hopefully will cross over our uh, chemical barrier and that will kill them. So um, after we get finished completing this pantry with the Novacide, we're going to use uh, some glue boards and we'll hang those from the ceiling. So give me just a second, let me finish this up and I'll show you how to use the glue board. So we finished our Novacide application um, and we've restocked our pantry uh, with new product from the grocery store. Um, occasionally you still might see some adult moths flying around so um, what we might want to do is put up a glue board and what we'll do is hang this from the ceiling uh, at a height of about six foot off the floor. Inside the glue board uh, you just got that lining of glue in there and most boards will come with some sort of a, a pad that's uh, actually got a pheromone on it and you'll take that pad and stick it up inside the, uh, the the actual board itself. Uh, that will draw the moths to it. Moths get stuck inside the board. Usually a, a glue board will last anywhere from maybe from about 10 weeks to, to 12 weeks depending on the activity. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get this thing hung up and we'll be done. We finished up our application. Um, let me share with you just a couple of tips. When you go to the grocery store, just make sure that you don't buy more than a couple of weeks worth of uh, grain products such as cereal, uh, flour, cornmeal, and things like that. Um, you know, it'll just sit around there in the pantry, um, and that's how this whole problem got started to begin with. So, uh, a couple of weeks worth of food, and then that's it. Also, on the glue boards, uh, today we used it for Indian mill moth to try to reduce the uh, uh, adult activity in the pantry area. Uh, it can also be used for other pantry pests such as sawtooth grain beetles, drugstore beetles, rice weevils. You just take the glue board and set it on the shelf, and they're drawn to it and they get stuck to it. So, it's a great tool to use to help minimize uh, a lot of your pantry pest activity. Uh, for more information you can uh, call us on our 800 number or you can visit our website at solutionsstores.com. I'm Keith McCoy with Solutions Pest and Lawn. Ask us how, then do it yourself.